Goodness, almost got flashed. No one wants to see thousand year old witch titties. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek XX Chic, and we are back with a brand new series. We are back in the Marvel verse with the new series, Agatha All Along. We were introduced to the character of Agatha through the show WandaVision, which I reacted to a little while back. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll probably put the link up here somewhere. Please do, it was a lot of fun. But yes, we learned that Agatha is one big bad mamma jamma in the witch world, and she tried to mess with Wanda, and she messed around and found out, quite frankly. And so where we left her was that Wanda cast a spell on her that caused her to forget everything about her being a witch or her past and basically made her believe that she was the actual character that she'd been playing in WandaVision. So my guess is that the events that happened in Doctor Strange's movie, which you haven't seen that, go check it out, are what are going to kick off what starts this series. I'm thinking that might be where we, where we start off, but I'm not exactly sure. But either way, I am looking forward to this because I absolutely love this actress. I can't think of her name right now. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to tie her story into the greater story of the Marvelverse because the whole like witches and witchcraft side of things is actually a huge part of the Marvel verse. And I kind of like the fact that we're delving, delving a bit more into it, even though Wanda is technically not in the universe right now. So I'm excited to see what this series is going to bring us. So let's jump right into episode one, which is called Seekest Thou the Road right now. And just before I do though, just a reminder that if you are new here, welcome. Please do join the fam and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you'd like to be in the no. The no. There we go. <laughs> the no with the notifications as to when I drop these episodes. All right, that out of the way, guys. Let's get into the episode right now. Do you know how hard it is to find a car that still has a gear shift on the wheel anymore? <laughs> she became a cop? Enjoying the fruits of my undeserved disciplinary action. You punched the suspect. They deserved it. Can't be right and wrong at the same time. Yes, you can. When the chief... <laughs> Not much of a drop around here. She fall. She was crushed. By what? <laughs> Something big and heavy. Thanos. She is dead, though, isn't she, Herb? Oh, she's really most sincerely dead. Never know. Huh? Is that an Easter egg about Wanda? Darkened fingers. Though it looks like dirt in this case. Not, you know, black magic. Is that a ring? Find something. That you touched with your bare hands? Ah, oh, good job with the rigor mortis, keeping her legs exactly the same way. What happened to you? Do we get to see the face? Or is this something we're gonna see later? You don't seem like yourself. Oh yeah? Do you know her? But right now, this unidentified woman lying dead in a crick has just got me down in the dumps. Crick. So American. Here in Canada, we enunciate our E's. It's a creek. Eek. Okay. Are these, these are the names of the characters we're reading right now, no? WandaVision. <laughs> Agnes of Westview. Okay, it took a minute. I was like, wait, who are these people? <laughs> this is not the name of the actors. <laughs> that was very um, Deadpool of them. You use that line at the supermarket checkout too. Oh my That's the girl from um, Buffy. Sanders' girlfriend. I, I guess I could run the book title. Oh, can you? <sighs> the exaggerated chewing. This book wasn't checked out. It was stolen three years ago. There was a fire. Uh, yeah, I think we got that. Creepy. Why are you whispering? Every last copy. Why are you whispering? I know it's library, but... Okay, so the book is the key. Not a donut. Why would you be a stereotype? Soil samples from under the fingernails and toenails of the Jane Doe came back. They don't match the soil she was lying in. She already said she wasn't there. Fancy dirt always attracts the attention of the feds. Agent Vidal is an asset here, I mean, Agnes. if it means it costs international borders, then yeah. Strength in numbers. Teamwork makes the Eat my ass, Chief. Ooh. Maybe get a drink first? Jeez. It's been a long time. What are you doing here? How long? Is this really how you see yourself? Hmm. No tracks for the perp. Not a leaf disturbed before forensics showed up. It's almost like she just... Magically appeared. Magic? What an interesting choice of words. You've lived here your whole life. Is that true? 
Agnes? Hmm, okay, you know something, clearly. These hotties here, it's triple goddess. Maiden, mother, crone. What, no working professional goddess? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hello. Oh, ew! Looks like your brooch is a locket. Dark, old. Go home, Agnes. Oh, what? Let me do my job, man. Interesting. So is it that her brain, or it must be the spell, right? The spell is somehow keeping her from pushing anything to do with her past, I'm assuming. Because why would the dark cold scare her? Also, I thought the spell on the town was lifted when Wanda left. So why does everyone just assume that she lived there her whole... I guess it's not that small of a town, but some of us know the story don't check out. Boy? Mickey. Hungry? What is the connection here? I have a lead in the case. That's not why I came over. So were these two a thing? Is that what's happening? Hey, I travel. I'm worldly. <laughs> Where have you traveled? Literally everywhere. Do you remember why you hate me? No. You're only lying to yourself. Okay, so they know she's got the brooch. Who are you? This isn't making sense. Is this someone who knows who Agatha is? Don't move! Free! Here we go! I don't think that's a good idea. This guy's practically doing parkour. I mean, same move. Just let go. It's like two feet. Or, yeah, that could help. Stop! <laughs> it's the most realistic police chase I've ever seen. I'm loving it. <laughs> Bro, this is why you don't run look back, looking backwards. Oh my god, he came out of nowhere. Oh my god, the 70s show! Bro, well, he won't give his name. And I can't he's believe you got run down by this lady. Like, it's she defense. literally gave you so many opportunities to run away. I think it's time for a good old fashioned chat with Edward Scissorhands in there. This is feeling very WandaVision like with the overacting and the exaggeration. When you say decorated, do you mean suspended without pay? Excuse me, are you old enough to even say those words? The respect of your peers in a fulfilling home life. But you were fresh out of both. <sighs> the mouth on this kid. What? She barely touched him. Just realizing his fingernails. Where were you last night between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m.? Asleep. In bed. Do you have anyone to corroborate that? What do you know about this? Nothing. Nothing. Tell me who she is. I don't know. Tell me what happened to her. What are you talking about? These are just flowers. What? I just pictures of someone. Magic is afoot. Why do you keep looking at that painting? It's not a. What is going on right now? You're spending the night in the tank. Let's see how long you can keep that up. Okay, two people in on it possibly. They're playing this very much like WandaVision where it's very hard to tell what's real, what's not, what's imagined, how deep this illusion goes. October 13th, Wanda Max. I had a feeling we didn't see the face. That witch is gone and all the copies of the dark hold with her, leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. Ah. Uh. Yes, claw your way out. Ah, oh, I'm hot. Good. So what's another witch? Okay. What? Now we got a throwback. Ugh. Keep going. Interesting imagery that you're using to watch her peel through all the layers of the spell. Not black and white. <laughs> there you go. Almost got flashed. No one wants to see thousand year old witch titties. Please tell me you have ah! Put your clothes on! What, what, what is going on? Ma'am? How long have I been here? Uh, what? Exactly? <laughs> what? Ooh, we try not to say her name. Ugh, because you're cowards. Because you're sheep. Uh, no, because we're trying to forget that she traumatized us. I mean, folks been trying to help out, you know, stopping by and bringing you groceries and checking up on you. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Look away, little girl. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. They all 
Hope you. Hope goes to die. Take no, um. <laughs> He's like, take my jacket, please. Sure. Okay. I, I get the, yeah. Can you put on some, some Pants, clothes? Please. <gasps> no magic. So she was living in delusions. That That's actually worse. <laughs> Damn, Wanda. Leave the bunny alone. Whatever you're planning, go do it. She took every little bit of power I had and left me with household appliances. I mean, you were going to steal all her power. I feel like it's pretty even there, tit for tat. <laughs> the bunny. Which is actually a funny reference if you watched Buffy because the neighbor who was a librarian, her character, was terrified of bunnies. Oh, but if you're real and not a figment of my imprisoned mind, then that means... Yep, that other cop. Was that necessary to do to the door, though? You're vulnerable. <sighs> Only physically. I was gonna say, like, if you're like 500 years old, if you haven't learned to fight, that's embarrassing. <laughs> the slap. You can't kill me. It's not allowed. Damn. That is a cooler way to get up, I gotta admit. This is undignified. Don't you want me at my best? I mean, you must. You could have taken her out how many times when she was under the spell. You prefer me. Horizontal? In a grave? Oh, you had to put that addendum in there. I am not the only one that wants to see you dead. Wants to see you burn. Or hang. Or drown. We got it. We got it. No new options. Right? Jeez. But I'll be sure to tell them where to find you. Who? Specifically. <laughs> right? She's like, I've ticked off a lot of people. The Salem Seven. Huh? I expect you'll see them at sundown. That's it? Ugh, it really warms the heart. You don't have a heart. I was about to say, I don't think you have I one. I do. It's black, and it beats for you. Hepatitis. Hepatitis! <laughs> oh, she healed you. So, I guess they are exes then. Because that kind of spite feels like the ex kind of spite. All right, you. How you doing down there? Right. You. Is that it? Are we ending it? Hold on, let me see if we got a ending scene. No, because we've got next episode showing up. Okay. Well, what a way to kick it off, guys. Um, Very reminiscent, like I said, of WandaVision in the first little while, our first little part of it. Like the whole kind of thin line between what's real, what's not. The whole feeling episodic, like we're in a drama. And then of course the credits were kind of the giveaway when all the character names were actually not the actors' names, but the characters showing up in the credits. I was like, okay, we're playing this a little bit like we did WandaVision. And that's what made me think like, okay, does that mean everybody's still under the spell? Because spoiler alert again, if you haven't seen WandaVision, I'm just gonna assume everybody who's watching this has watched WandaVision. We know that before Wanda left, she took the spell off of the town, right? Cause she basically was like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I literally trapped y'all in this hell for God knows how long. So I was like, how is it then that Agatha slash Agnes is saying all this stuff and doing all this stuff and everyone's just like playing along because they would like, like I said, her saying she was there her whole life. No, <laughs> the people of Westview would have known that wasn't true. And then just everything else looked very just suspiciously too old time, old town, old timey wimey, right? So anyway, I do like the way that they showed that she was basically living in a delusion. Like she was literally trapped in her own mind and the whole town was just accommodating her because they're like, oh, she's the crazy old lady who lives in that house, which is kind of nuts when you think about it. But I do like how when she finally did get her memories back and we see that there were certain blocks that were put in place, it looks like by the spell. So like, you know, when she was finding the Jane Doe, which was basically, I'm trying to figure out if the witch, that we saw the girl who's trying to kill Agatha, if she's the one who put the name of the Darkhold in there and the fake body in order to like let her know that Wanda was gone or if Agatha actually sensed that Wanda was gone, but I'm not sure. But interestingly, I had the theory, as I said before, that I thought that when Wanda died, that that would mean that all of her spells would stop. But we see that that wasn't the case, that this has actually persisted beyond Wanda's death. Although my theory is still that I don't think Wanda's actually gone, gone. I think she's just gone from this dimension, but I do think that there is still more Wanda's out there or that the Wanda that we know of is still out there. She's just, you know, not in this 
dimension or time or timeline. I'm not sure which one you want to put, but anyway, you get my point. So anyways, coming back, I do like the way that they showed that she was kind of just living in this delusion and the way that Herb was saying like, yeah, you just keep going through these different, he's like, yeah, you're in a crime, so a true crime era right now. God knows what else she's done over the times. But we saw that when she was pulling off all the clothes, all the layers, which I thought was also a really ingenious way of showing all the different delusions that she's had, the different ways she's been pretending to be someone other than Agatha all this time. And she was just pulling it off layer by layer. I thought that was really smart and uh, very cost effective way to kind of show how she's been trapped in her own mind all this time. And then finally, we see that this witch, for some reason, was desperate to get Agatha to remember who she is. And as we saw later on, like they, they hate each other. That much Agnes remembered, right? Even though she couldn't remember the reason why, she knew in her gut of guts that she did not like this woman and did not want to be around her. But as I said, we're not, I'm not sure what the relationship is. They haven't told us yet, but it's giving X energy. <laughs> it's giving, there's a little bit of weird tension going on there, but definitely like enough aggravation and anger to say that maybe there was a little bit more than friendship going on there if there was ever friendship but when it comes to witches and covens the relationships tend to get a little bit blurry shall we say as far as the lines but anyways so yeah we see that now Agatha is awake she managed to find her way out of the spell because now that Wanda was no longer there I guess to keep the magic going for it she was able to get her way out of it she was able to navigate through it but she needed the help of that other witch to basically push her to keep I I guess you could say pushing the boundaries of the spell like for example saying the word dark hold and trying to remember the fact that she couldn't think of where she's traveled outside of westview or anything about her past she couldn't remember right so things that were obviously things that were disorienting to her because of the spell but with that witch pushing her to push those boundaries she was finally able to do what she needed to do which was pull the layers of the spell off and finally get back to herself but interestingly we see that this witch just wanted to try to take her out like as i said it's interesting because with agatha without her magic and also completely unaware of who she was, this witch could have taken Agatha out at any point, right? She could have just done it easy peasy. The fact that she wanted to bring Agatha out of it and have her be aware and then try to attack her. As Agatha said, like, I don't actually think you want to take me out like this because you know, you want me, you want to fight me when I'm at my best. And so we see that that's exactly what she ended up saying is, yeah, okay, I'll send, I'll send the Salem Seven, we have a name now, to come and get you and I'll sit back and watch. So she says, and so an interesting, uh, she made that reference to a heart and Agatha's like, you don't have a heart. And she's like, yes, I do. And it beats for you. So as I said, interesting energy there. My guess is that Agatha betrayed her, which doesn't surprise me. We saw that in WandaVision in the flashback about Agatha's past. She has stolen power from other witches. She's betrayed other witches in the past in order to get to the next level of power herself. And so we saw that too, that even after she realized that her magic was gone, she didn't really get discouraged right away. We saw that she grabbed her little bunny friend and was like, it's okay. Like we, we got knocked down, but we got to get back on top, especially if Wanda's not in the way anymore. So I kind of like that about Agatha. Let's very good lesson in life, right? Sometimes you get knocked down, but you got to get back up again. You're never going to keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get, sorry, if you know the song, you know it. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's our mission at the moment. It's like, she says she wants to get her purple back. And I recall from back in WandaVision that that was the color of her spells and her magic was, was purple with Wanda. It was red. So I maybe each of these witches have their own color aura when it comes to their magic, I'm assuming. But anyway, she says she wants to get that back at a minimum. And then of course, be in a position to potentially go up against all these witches. And I'm interested to see who these witches are because listen, I love me a good witch show. We don't, we've, it's been a while since we've had a good witch, so, witch show. There we go. So it'd be interesting to see how they're going to play it in this, in this show, if we're even going to get that deep. I'm not sure, but I am looking forward to the fun that that could bring. And then we saw that Agatha also kidnapped this young man. I don't think we got his name, but he, I'm trying to figure out, like Agatha would not have just grabbed him for no reason. And there was the chanting that he did, which I don't think was a hundred percent fate in the sense of like, I don't know if he actually did the chanting, but my point is, I don't think Agatha grabbed him. Like after three years of being in Westview, if he's the first person she's ever kidnapped, there has to be a reason, <laughs> right? As we saw that like, even in her delusion, there were certain things she was still very attuned to. So my guess is that there's, there's a reason behind why she grabbed this young man. But if not, then he's just gonna become her unwilling helper, I guess at this point. Cause yeah, he's kind of trapped in her house at the moment. And also how did she manage to do that? I keep saying like, I'm still surprised she was able to, able to grab him at all because he's a young spry young man. And we saw the way that Agatha was running. Like he should have been 
able to get away. But anyways, I think that was a good intro. We have the establishment of where we're starting with this. Agatha's at ground zero, no powers. She has her memory back. Now we're gonna have to see if she's able to get them back. And now we know that all, co we already know from the movie that all the copies of the Dark Hold are gone, or are they? Or at least they're gone from this dimension, this timeline. So actually, is that all of them? Oh my gosh, my memory is not serving me. I can't remember with Wanda's death, every copy of the Dark Hold that ever existed goes. I think it does. I do think it does actually, now that I think about it, but I could be wrong. Anyways. But I have a feeling that that's not gonna stop Agatha. She always wanted to get to the top level. The dark hold was the key. So I'm interested to see what new fresh magic we're gonna bring up. And I have a feeling that what it's going to eventually tie into is potentially how we bring Wanda back into our Marvel verse in some way, shape or form. I'm not sure, but that's my early prediction. But anyways, I did enjoy this episode a lot. I think it was a good start. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and we will see you in the next one.